function r is equal to 0 to 5, 11c 2r plus 1 upon 2r plus 2 is equal to m upon n and gcd of m and n is 1 then we need to find the value of m minus n. So if you expand it you will be getting 11c 2 times 0 plus 1 that is 1, 11c 1 divided by 2 into 0 plus 2 that is 2 plus and when r is equal to 1 so we can write 11c 2 ones are 2 plus 1 3 divided by 2 times of 1 where is 2 plus 2 that is 4 and next 11c when r is equal to 2 2 to the 4 plus 1 5 divided by 2 to the 4 plus 2 6 and so on 11c 2 5 is a 10 plus 1 11 divided by when r is equal to 5 and here 2 5 is a 10 plus 2 12 and which is given as m upon n. So to get this one let us consider 1 plus x whole to the power 11 which is equal to 11c naught plus 11c1 x power 1 11c2 x to the power 2 and so on 11c11 <coughs> x to the power 11. So this can also be written c0 plus c1x c2x square and so on c11 x to the power 11 where c0 c1 c2 and c11 are the binomial coefficients. So now integrating on both the sides integrating on both the sides with the limits 0 to 1. So we get integral 0 to 1 1 plus x whole power 11 is equal to integral 0 to 1 c0 plus c1x plus c2x square and so on up to c11 x to the power 11 dx. So we can write 1 plus x whole to the power 12 divided by 12 over the limits 0 to 1 which is equal to c naught x plus c1 integration of x is x square by 2 plus c2 x power 3 divided by 3 and so on up to c11 x to the power 12 divided by 12 so over the limits 0 to 1. Now applying the limits here 1 plus 1 that is 2 power 12 divided by 2 minus 1 plus 0 that is 1 power 12 is 1 divided by 12 which is equal to c0 into 1 plus c1 into 1 by 2 and here we can write c2 1 cube is 1 upon 3 plus and so on c11 1 power 12 is 1 divided by 12. So we can consider 2 to the power 12 minus 1 upon sorry here it is 12 so 12 which is equal to c0 by 1 plus c1 by 2 plus c2 by 3 and so on up to c11 divided by 12. Let us consider this an equation b. Integrate again a integrating on both the sides from the limits minus 1 to 0. So we'll get integral minus 1 to 0 1 plus x whole power 11 is equal to integral minus 1 to 0 c0 plus c1x plus c2x square and so on c11 x power 11 dx. So we get 1 plus x whole to the power 12 divided by 12 over the limits minus 1 to 0 which is equal to c naught x plus c1 x square by 2 plus c2 x to the power of 3 divided by 3 and so on c11 x to the power 12 divided by 12 over the limits minus 1 to 0. So that we can write here the upper limit is 0 so 1 plus 0 that is 1 power 12 1 by 12 minus of and again here the lower limit 1 minus 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 upon 12 is 0 which is equal to and here the upper limit will be 0 minus 
at the lower limit we can write c0 into minus 1 that is minus c0 and again plus c1 into minus 1 whole square will become plus 1 that is c1 by 2 and minus 1 whole cube will become minus so minus c2 divided by 3 and again plus and so on up to minus 1 whole to the power 12 is 12 uh, 1 so we'll get c11 plus c11 divided by 12 so which can be written as 1 by 12 is equal to c0 minus c1 by 2 plus c2 by 3 minus and so on up to minus c11 divided by 12 so which can be considered the equation as a c equation from b so we get c0 minus c0 gets cancelled or let me write here 2 power 12 minus 1 divided by 12 minus 1 by 12 is equal to c0 minus c0 plus c1 by 2 minus of minus plus c1 by 2 plus c2 by 3 minus c2 by 3 and so on c11 by 12 minus of minus plus c11 by 12 so we can write 2 to the power 12 minus 1 2 to the power minus minus 2 divided by 12 which is equal to 2 times of c1 by 2 plus c3 by 4 and so on c11 divided by 12. So this can also be written as by taking 2 common here 2 power 11 minus 1 divided by 12 is equal to 2 times of we know that c1 by 2 plus c3 by 4 and so on is nothing but m by n. So here I can write m upon n and here we can cancel 2 and 2. So m is equal to we can compare 2 power 11 minus 1 and n is equal to 12. So therefore m minus n is equal to 2 power 11 minus 1 minus 12 that is 2 power 11 minus 13. So 2 power 11 value is 2048 minus 13. So we can write 2000. 35. So 2035 is the answer.